darlings and welcome back to my channel. First of all, before I begin, I just need to say a quick sorry um, because last week I only filmed once and I usually film two to three times so if you were waiting for my other videos they didn't happen so I do apologize about that but this week I am back to filming uh, two or three videos so I haven't decided yet how many uh, but at least two this week will be happening so I'm really excited about today's video because of course I'm talking about the subculture palette dupe that I came across it literally only launched on I believe it was Thursday um, and I received it today which is Monday morning um, yeah so it launched Thursday night in the UK at 7 p.m. so and it was free shipping so I think that was quite quick um, so yeah I'm really impressed it was 12 95 and if you are interested in seeing the other video that I did on this company uh, the modern renaissance palette uh, that they did that they copied um, I will link to that video below um, so check it out after this one um, if you want to see that but I will quickly show you it please excuse my hands because I've got swatches and everything all over them um, yes so this is the modern renaissance dupe uh, like I said, if you want to see swatches and me talk about it in more detail, check out the video below that I will link to. But today we're talking about subculture. So when subculture la uh, launched, everybody was so excited. Of course, it was the sister to Modern Renaissance and everybody, including myself, was really excited about the launch. Um, they're not typically colours that I would necessarily wear on a daily basis, but I definitely the colours definitely grew on me. When I first saw it, I wasn't bothered if I bought it or not. But the more I saw it, uh, the more I wanted to buy it. But then obviously the reviews started coming out on YouTube and everybody slated it. I didn't see one good review, honestly. Everybody said it was terrible. Everybody said it didn't swatch. It wouldn't, um, it wasn't pigmented enough. It didn't blend. Uh, it, the color oxidized too much. So it made, went a funny color on the skin. Everybody that used it seemed to look like they had bruises on their skin. Um, it just was terrible. Like it was the worst makeup launch I think that's ever happened like the reviews were just shockingly bad and for such an amazing brand it was really really shocking um but if you looked into the ingredients they actually changed uh some of the formulas so obviously that's why now I don't know if they have changed the formula back to the original ingredients uh that would make sense I'm I'm guessing they probably have by now um but I still didn't want to buy it because I knew that this company was going to come out with their own copy of it and it's literally going to be exactly the same so I waited a few months and it literally came out on Thursday so I ordered it got it this morning literally only got it about an hour ago had a quick look had a play i'm actually wearing it now um something a little bit different i don't usually wear these colors on my eyes um but yes and as you can see i've been swatching so yes let me show you the palette now the company is w7 and it is called on the rocks neutrals on ice let me open it up and as you can see i have to apologize because oh it's quite messy but it's not the palette's fault it's not that there's so much fallout or anything it's literally just that um i've been swatching this all over my fingertips as you can see okay so here is the palette looks filthy sorry about that <laughs> um but yeah i will go next to it so you can see my eyes next to the palette really really pretty okay enough of me posing <laughs> okay so yeah as you can see it's very very pretty um, it's literally exactly the same as the subculture palette the only difference with this one compared to the other dupes that they did the modern renaissance is the fact that they have now added the names of the colors on here which I personally when I'm using eyeshadow I couldn't really care less if the names are on the colors like if the colors have names or if they don't it doesn't bother me at all to be honest i don't pay any attention to the names and i just use whatever colors and i have no idea what the names were um but i think in terms of the look of the palette i definitely think it makes the palette look more expensive it was the same price as the modern renaissance dupe which was 12.95 um and i just think the fact that you're getting basically the subculture palette but with a decent formula um, I think that's an amazing price point so if you can't afford the subculture palette definitely get this one um, 
or if you don't want to get the subculture palette because of the bad reviews, although I'm sure they've probably rectified it now, um, then again, get this one. Um, it's so much cheaper and it's exactly the same. Okay, so I have started swatching already, so I'm just going to do this and just show you some of the shades. My swatches are terrible because my nails are long and I really can't get my fingers into the pan um, because obviously my nails are kind of blocking. Um, I can't use my fingertips, so I really find it hard to get the colour out to swatch, so sorry about my swatches, but look at the colours. This one here is stunning, it's so pretty, and it's this one here, and it kind of looks like a gold, but it's like a greeny gold, it's so pretty, it's like a lime green gold shade, and I've got it in the centre of my eyes, and I absolutely love it. I wouldn't normally wear this eyeshadow look, but you know, for the video, I wanted to do something a little bit different um, and I absolutely love it. So let me show you what I'm wearing. So I have a little bit of this here. It's got something on it, a bit of fluff or something, I don't know. Okay, so I have this one here and the outer corners followed by this green up here, also in the outer corners. And the green is this shade here. It's absolutely gorgeous. Again, my swatches don't look very good. That is not a very good swatch. Um, that is not the eyeshadow's fault. Again, it's my fingers. Um, I can't get my fingertips in there, but you get the idea. It's very gorgeous. Um, then I have this, this like orangey shade on the inner corners. Well, the um, first uh, third of my uh, eyelid. Um, and then... Uh, the lower lash line, I again went in with this green shade here. And then what I did is I went to use this white, what I thought was like a white, you know, champagne um, shimmery shade for my brow bone and my inner corners. It actually turns out that it is this vibrant pink, this pink, gorgeous, like iridescent pinky white shade and it's so pretty. So I've got that on my brow bone and on my inner corners and yeah, so I absolutely love it. There's the, there's it there. Again, it's not really showing up much on camera. This shade here is gorgeous as well, if you can see. Just so pretty. It's an amazing palette. I highly recommend it. Like I said, it's only $12.95, amazing value. I don't know how they keep getting away with blatantly copying other brands, um, but they seem to be doing it. Um, so yes, um, I do. I highly recommend it. I think it's really good. I've made a complete mess of it, mess of myself, but I just wanted to quickly come on here and film. Uh, yes. So I hope you guys like it. Let me know in the comments what you think of it, if you think it looks, it does look the same as the subculture. Um, honestly, all the colours are really vibrant, really pigmented, blends beautifully, really easy to use, so I highly recommend it. Okay, don't forget to check out the uh, Modern Renaissance dupe video that I will link below, and I will see you all again soon, and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you soon. Bye!